Much. Well, I'll tell you what, anybody who has a pet that they love will say they're like another member of the family. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with Mulligan, admittedly. Uh, pets and wills, though, used to be a thing that was only for super rich people, but believe it or not, now folks are doing it more than ever. Let's connect the dots tonight. People of all incomes are making sure their furry friends are cared for after they pass. Let's connect the dots. Writing your pet into your will won't give your dog or cat money, but rather designated pet guardians. When you pass, guardians get ownership of your pet and any money you've left aside to care for that pet. This year, 40% of all pet owners say they have named or plan to name a pet guardian in their will. Deciding how much money to set aside for your pet's care can be hard. Experts recommend taking the life expectancy of your dog or cat into account. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you don't name a pet guardian in your will, your dog or cat will go to whoever gets the majority of your stuff. But make sure you have a plan. Without a will, courts decide how to divvy up your belongings. This leaves a higher chance for your furry friends to end up at a shelter. And that's Connecting the Dots.